Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create your first virtual reality game for mobile devices. So to get started, you'll need the Unity game engine, you'll need the Google Cardboard Unity plugin, and you'll need this character controller code, uh, which is written in C Sharp, and it has um, some auto walk features that we'll um, use in our game. So I'll download this right now. Uh, okay, so to get started, we'll open up Unity. Uh, we'll create a new project. I'll call it first, first game, first game, and then we'll import the, um, not the scripts, the skybox and the terrain assets, and create. Okay, so once Unity is loaded, we'll import the Google Cardboard asset, so import package, custom package, and the Google Cardboard SDK for Unity. Open, import all. <coughs> okay, uh, so once you have that, so you go over Google, demo scene, and if you load the scene, no, don't say, okay, uh, so the first thing you can do is go into cardboard main, uh, head, main camera, and you can actually change the stereo multiplier value if you're seeing double in your game later, so this is important to know. Um, you can actually do it in real time like this. So I'll leave it at zero for now. Alright, so the first thing I'll do is I'll select the main camera. I'll close this. I'll add a component. Uh, rendering skybox. And I'll choose Eerie Skybox. And then I'll choose the plane. Um, materials. And I'll choose... Oh, it's not here. Standard assets, terrain, textures, grass hill. I'll drag that onto the plane, and here we go. So now if you click play, it should actually look a bit nicer. Yeah, you can hold alt to look around, and now you see some grass and the sky and whatnot. Okay. Okay, so now we'll add the walking functionality for our game. So first we'll click on assets, and then import new asset. I had, I already unzipped this uh, zip file, so character motor. Import the other one, uh, FPS input controller. Okay, so if you click on head and you drag the FPS input controller there, you should uh, everything else should pop up for you. And now if you click play, you should actually be able to walk around using the WASD keys. So there you go. You can look around, move around. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll add an auto walk feature so you can look at an object for like about two to three seconds and then your character will walk by itself. Uh, we do this because for uh, <coughs> mobile virtual, rea virtual reality games, you don't have a controller or a keyboard usually. Uh, okay, so first first I'll delete cardboard GUI because we don't really need this. Alright, so now we'll create a new 3D object, new sphere. Uh, sphere, I'll add a new script component, I'll call it auto walk, C sharp, create an add. Alright, and now I'll take the code from the website. So this is going to be the auto walk CS code. So double click. <coughs> okay, paste. Now if I open up Unity. Oh, so now I'll take the sphere. I'll put it. I'll put it above the light. Put it right here. I'll scale it to three, three, three. Oops, move up a little. Okay, and I believe that's it. So now, if I click play, uh, I can look at the sphere. I look at it for about two seconds. I should start walking. There you go. So now you're now you have an auto walk feature, and then if you look at it again, you stop walking. Okay, perfect. So now the last thing we'll do is we'll um, add a different functionality for the cube so that if you look at it for about two seconds, it also teleports. Because not all uh, mobile headsets have the magnetic input um, like some of the Google Cardboard headsets. So we'll select the cube. Uh, here's the teleport uh, code we want. So we're going to replace this with what's on the website. 
Firefox, yes. Delete, paste. It's about the same functionality as the previous code, except we changed some things here. Uh, okay, so now if you click play, <coughs> your game should be fully functioning. So you can walk around. Well, this is just for the computer, but in uh, in the headset, what you're going to do is going to look up to walk around, and auto walk is going to be enabled. Make a look at it again to turn it off. Okay, and now if you look at the cube for about two seconds, it should teleport. Oh, there you go. Teleport. So now this allows uh, any user without um, a Google Cardboard headset to play this game. So if they don't have the magnetic magnetic input, they could just they could still play this game. Uh, okay, and the last thing we want to do now is build it. So the game is done. So we go to build settings. Uh, Android. Switch platform. Okay, I'll just do its thing. Cool. So now add the current scene. Player player settings. We want to make it landscape left, and then we want to change this. We want to change the build identifier. So we'll make it like a first game or something. First game. Okay, and now if we build it. Unity first game, we'll name it first game, save. And it should build the game for us. And if you had your phone plugged in, you could have ran, um, you could run build and run, but I forgot, so I'll just let it build and then I'll drag it onto my phone. Uh, okay, so it's done, and here's our game, and we can just drag this onto our phone and install it and play our first virtual reality game.